Hi, I'm right here again with Iowa Transformers before it was cool, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Combiner Wars Megatron. I finally found this thing in stores. But unfortunately, though, he does have some, some paint flaws. Here's the other side of the box. Tom just says Autobot logo should be Decepticon. Don't know why they're having a uh, Autobot logo there. I don't know, don't know how it is to show up on camera, but here on the chest, you can see there's some paint flaws, and then on the knee there, looks like someone touched the paint one when it was wet still, and then along his shins. But anyways, let's get him opened up. Yeah, they waste a lot of space. Like, they could have something down here. Open up his chest. There's a matrix inside there. Oh. I see. Why won't this tray come out? There we go. The tray is free. This plastic is really soft. You can see there, there's the stickers that make them look very G1-y. Some little wire thing here stuck along. But here is Megatron. Does have some rubber treads. Does have some, some, some light piping here. Is going to scale nice, nicely with uh, the recent like masterpiece figures. So I'm gonna go fiddle with them for for a bit, and then I will I will report back for what I find what I don't like with them. So here is Little Crest Man trying to free it from his packaging and everything. Is ready. He is leader size, obviously. He scales well with MP10 or or other leader class figures. They're all gonna be up about this height. There he is with the deluxe class figure. You can see he's much taller. And then Combiner Wars Prime. Maybe trying to probably be the same height. Oh well. The nice thing with them being video class size is that it allows us to have a stand-in for the masterpiece line until we are able to get an official MP10 size Megatron. Or in my case, until Aces Toys is able to get their act together, because I ordered a Polyon from them back in I think September. And Ace's toys ran off of people's money. Although, um, x bot says you're trying to work with Aces to fix this. But so let's get MP Prime out of the way. You can see that these leader class MPs get also sale well with alternators. So since this is the uh, Combiner Wars, here he is with, with Dead End and um, Swindle. I don't have the actual deluxe class uh, Dead End yet because I haven't, I haven't seen him in my, in my area. Buying Combiner Wars in my area is actually very difficult. No one has has them. And then his, I guess, third in command since uh, Shockwave. I mean, that's not what Shockwave is. Soundwave is his second in command is with Shockwave. But right, now to get on the Megatron's attack bottom for a minute. Oops, just knocked over dead end. Actually, before we do that, Here's with the cert excuse for a masterpiece. MP5. I'm not the biggest fan of this mold. Like, 
I think we did design in like a week. So he suffers in articulation and just overall look like his legs look, look like crap. But now on to Megatron. One thing I was very surprised with was these rubber treads. That really, see, you can see me kind of get off from this angle. You can see the rubber and it actually move. It does have a fair amount of opposability. It does have a, a hip. Goes back and forth. It does have a swivel here at the hip. His knee. Unfortunately, his, he doesn't have an ankle tilt. That would be nice, nice to see. He does have shoulder. It goes all the way out like that. And uh, there is camera with this. I think that's right. Yeah, ratchet maybe. Can't remember. It is the one that has the, the teeth in it. It does go 360 degrees around. And then. His arms do, does have an elbow that bends, bends 90 degrees here. The wrist you can... Oh, my phone's just going off on stuff right now. You can twist his hands around for different ways. Does have some, some light piping. Like as soon as this app loads up, you can see here. I try and get the line up. Here we go. Now, one complaint I do have with him in robot mode is his fusion cannon. It doesn't really. It should be on the outside of, 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 of like his arm, so it's like that. So it should be on this side. Instead, it just mounts here, and there's a little thing that moves for for him to transform. So you can kind of put him into a decent pose. Now, because the way he transforms, he does have um, ankle tilt this way, but not sideways. And then his gun here separates into two parts. Now you can have it combined like this, but what I like doing is flipping it up so it looks like an actual gun that you would see a human using, so as the stock that goes all the way to the shoulder. You can, you can kind of give him that kind of action shot pose. And then since he does have a, a, a neck thing where he's able to look up and down and side to side, you can kind of copy the, the scene for, from the movie where Ironhide's grabbing on, onto his leg. And then he just looks down and, and shoots him. Although kind of hard to do with this angle. Kind of, kind of like that. Now... Every time I buy a silver, a, uh, a silver figure, I have difficulty with paint flaws, and this one is no exception. Like here on his uh, shins, there's a little speck there. There's one on the outside, there's through on both legs. Here on his chest, you can see there's that little red dot here. Then there's little little minor flaws here in the silver paint. Amazingly, that's all I have really. And now to transform him, actually hold on, he does have a waist joint. But in order to use this waist joint, you have to, to slide these, these treads up, which is one of the, the flaws of the mold. Because you can see the treads, they would block the, uh, the waist part there. Now, actually to, to transform him. I only did this once last night, I can't really remember. <laughs> I just know vaguely you're going to slide these... Uh, these little co covers over his, his fist. Then you're going to slide the gun. Make sure it's over. Now flip up this chest part. This, uh, this crotch piece here, the crotch armor. You're going to pull that, have it go between the legs. And then since this is the turret here, you're just going to 
take the turret pieces and bring them in. You're going to take the turret, not turret, but the gun, the barrel, and slide it between arms and, and lock everything together. Then you're going to come around to the front in front of the, the, the tank here and take these treads and slide them forward and then lock them into place. And on the back of the tank here, there's a little lock in the knees so you're going to pull and bend. Kind of see the hinge here. Why it's not doing it now. There we go, I got that one done. And then you're going to slide this butt piece forward. Do the same on the other side. This leg does not want to go really. There we go. And then you can see there's a little tab here and a slot there. You got to tab with that part in. And then with the crotch piece, you can either have it open like this or peg it into the, the turret. Problem with pegging it and making the back of the turret so it covers the fist and everything is that you lose the turret to move. So the best place to put the door hinge, I'm not sure what to call this, is to keep it here locked into the back of the tank. And then pull out the barrel. Now you may even notice I don't have the missile and that's because I don't display my figures with missiles in. I just leave them in a the, the packaging because when you display it with the missile, it weakens the, the, the spring. And McTron does fare very well. Now one complaint I do have is that the middle wheel here on uh, the treads, it's a, it's a fake wheel. And it, it sticks out. Oops, just killed out Alpha Bravo. Oh, he is a decent looking tank. One thing that is nice for the Armada version that do have the little pincers here. Because uh, the Armada version, the only thing that's different is, is Megatron's head. But yet, because it's such an, such an extensive repaint, you you think there's more to like the, the changes. Here he is with an, an, a Masterpiece Autobot car. Very big. Kind of see how Megatron is is folded up here. These guns they do peg into the top of the tank here. Trying. I don't really know much about real tanks, but I'm trying to remember if they have this little split tread piece here. Pretty sure they have one continuous tread. Not exactly sure sure with that though. Now he is a nice looking tank. Although I'm not sure why he has a cockpit here and a door here when he's supposed to be based on a Cybertronian tank. I don't think they have things to spawn on Cybertron. You kind of make him look like he's shooting by bringing the barrel in. Although, I, I like this mold. I'll probably end up picking the, the Armada version since I have the original Ar Armada Megatron, although he's not complete. He's missing his, his pinchers, his mini kind of missiles. He's pretty broken. And then just having the two tanks would, would be nice, but at $45, now as a stand-in for a Polyon, if just having a, a display place to go with your MP10, I see you could you could do that. I, I think he fits in well, especially with the add-on kit. I don't know if you look at the add-on kit, but it gives him actual opening and closing fist. Um, I think he has different feet. I can't remember what else he has, but it's like $45, so technically you're buying a figure twice to make him look more masterpiece-y. When for $50 more, you, you can get a Polyon, which was my original goal, just Ace's toy totally taking forever to get a Polyon to, to us. And so, I got tired of waiting, so I bought a stand-in for, for now.
I believe that is it for Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Generation 1 Megatron. So, till next time, take it easy.